All right, y'all, I went and did it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about it. I went and put down a deposit for a Legends pinball machine. Uh, I have not canceled my order for my Marvel pinball. Uh, but I'm going to tell you why I did the one for the Legends. Uh, also, this is not going to be, obviously, I'm not doing the normal weekly show uh, today uh, just because. I've been doing a lot of other videos recently and those take a lot of time so I'll dedicate next week and then I'll do one of the normal weekly videos and I'll talk about the um, 1000 giveaway for the Nintendo Switch Lite. I'll probably reach out to the winner sometime later in the week um, so if you still haven't gotten into that you may want to go ahead and get into it if you haven't already uh, and don't if you don't win don't worry because I'm already planning on doing another one I will be doing one for uh, Another one this year, so I'll either do one for 1,500 or 2,000 subs, uh, and I'll do another Switch or Switch Lite, or I may pick something else, something in that same you know price range or quality of a giveaway. But I want to do something, regardless. I'll do another something like that this year. Uh, but anyways, the reason that I did it was for there's there's a lot of reasons. Um, just like a lot of you, I know a lot of you had your pre-orders in for Marvel or Star Wars, or were waiting for the attack from mars that was going to be a direct buy and then it got shadow dropped on best buy and then sold out in an hour um <clears throat> there's a lot of a lot of things that arcade one up has done right of late i mean as far as just improving the company but there's a lot of stuff they've done wrong and i think i've come up here and i'm a big supporter of them i've gotten i got seven tables in-house i got the pinball on the way i was trying to get another pinball so that would have been what eight nine products of theirs that i would have had uh so it's just it's at the point where I, like where i feel that you know i don't need to be i don't need to be making excuses for them um i do like their products i'm not gonna stop liking their products all of a sudden but it just it's, it's a reality check um i think for me and i think for a lot of people and i've seen a lot of people come especially in the last couple days and just post their stories and their frustrations in the comments um and yeah i mean maybe not all but may, may not be our kid when it was fault. i mean there's there's stuff going on in the world there's just shipping delays everywhere um you know you can only make so many excuses uh bottom line is they they try to get assist they try to get the pinball machines out for christmas they had no business trying to do that i don't think that i think they tried to fit all that qa in and just engineering and too short of a window to try to get it out for Christmas got a lot of people excited and really like they F with Christmas you don't F with Christmas and and they did and and that's a big no-no um, and we're still sitting here getting delays uh, do I think that, that they'll be out this month um, or next month probably I mean I I know some people are getting their their pinballs in now I think mine will probably be here sometime in the middle of March is what I'm guessing. I'm not anticipating of being here before then. Um, but what, what happened is that it gave, it gave me time to, to do my research. It gave me time to look at other options. Um, whereas the, the Legends Ultimate machines never appealed to me. I mean, number one, I have three modded machines. The first thing I did is I modded my Ninja Turtle machine. And I said, you know, after that, which is really a, probably the only mod that I would have needed to do, um, then I said, you know what, I would actually like a vertical um, screen uh, cabinet modded so I can play shooters like cave shooters and all these other, you know, because I'm a shooter person, I like shoot 'em ups So I did a Pi 4 mod on my Galaga cabinet, which I did a video for and y'all had seen. Uh, and then I did that and then I realized that I had an 8-way directional joystick and I'm like, oh, I can't play, you can't play, I mean, you can. But if you really play arcade games, you you know you know how frustrating it is if you're trying to play like Pac-Man or Burger Time on a cabinet that has an eight-way directional joystick, which is why I've never really cared for the Legends machines. They're just multi-cage, and I'm just they don't really it's not something I'm really interested in for the most part. So I have three modded machines to pretty much play everything that I want to play. So being honest, like most the machines that I buy now are just things that I think are cool as far as decorative or just it is still nice to have dedicated cabinets for stuff, so I do I do like that aspect, which is why the Legends uh, Ultimate have never really appealed to me, and I, they still don't. So I, I'm still more or less going to follow Arcade One Ups arcade cabinets, um, and still pick them up when I think that there's cool ones out there. 
but the more research that I did, and I know, uh, was it Evil Genius Entertainment? I know I've been talking to him a lot in the comments and on his channel the last couple weeks, and he's really been kind of opening my eyes to the at games uh, pinball. And I've done, I've been researching for for weeks now, and I've done especially a lot of research the last couple weeks. And it's just, I mean, just being honest with myself, I mean, I just, it it seems like there's a, it's probably a superior product to be honest. I mean. If it had if it had arcade one up, you know, branding and stuff like that, I mean that would be the cabinet to get. If it had, you know, and that's something that, you know, arcade one up obviously does really good is they sell nostalgia really good and that's kind of something that at games really does not do. They don't really sell them. They're they're working on that with that that Tetris cabinet that they have out is looks pretty cool and stuff. So they're improving their game. Um and arcade one up is too. Arcade one up is making they're making big steps, they're making big moves. But the fact that they screwed that up so bad made me just say, hey, what else is out there? Let me look into this this uh, Legends Pinball. And the more I looked, the more I liked, you know, to be honest with you. And I haven't, like I said, I haven't canceled my Marvel yet. And more than likely, I'll keep my Marvel. And, you know, I, it, I think that would also be pretty cool is to have both cabinets, have an arcade one up one and have the Act Games one and be able to compare them and give, give you all feedback and stuff like that. And that's what I plan on doing. So, I mean, It'll probably be later in the year until I get both those cabinets, obviously, or both those tables. So it's going to be a while. But when I do, then I can actually do comparison and, and talk about it. So, anyways, yeah, I mean, they 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 gave me time to think about it and do more research. The more research I did, I mean, it's just like I said, it just being honest. I mean, I I wanted the Marvel, I wanted the Attack from Mars, I want that one the most. Uh, so I already knew that I was I have the Marvel secured. I was gonna order the Attack from Mars whenever I could, and then to be, I mean, then I was probably gonna get another one. Now, the thing with the the At Games one, the Legends Pinball, is that you can, you know, there's a possibility. It's just a lot easier to add, you know, hook it up to a PC and stuff like that. To where, from what it seems, there's not a lot of options with the Arcade One Up pinball machines. And that's also been a big plus for the just arcade one up cabinets is how easy they've been to mod and that's been a big bonus for their products i think a lot of people have picked them up i mean being honest i mean i've had just i've had if much much fun if not more fun modding and playing with the cabinets than i have you know actually just playing the games i just like working on them and just having little side projects so that's a lot of fun so the the challenge and just fun of getting to play with the app games uh the legends pinball is is very that that's a big a big plus for me and then being able to hook up um, FX3 um, Pinball to it and get all the games that I really want is definitely a big perk. Um, so that, you know, it's obviously not out the box, but it's, you know, with some tinkering, I can more than likely get that working. Uh, so it's just, like I said, there's just a lot of reasons. Um, another thing is that uh, I just got really irritated with was I was watching uh, the One Up Weekly um, this week and and I even posted a, I mean, I posted a comment on the video to where it just, it seemed like John D, I've watched, I don't watch all their, all their stuff. I don't, I don't think I've ever watched a, a One Up Weekly stream. I kind of watch pieces and parts of them here and there. Um, but John D always seems pretty, he seems pretty cool, you know, for the most part. But he just seemed really, he seemed irritated by people, just, you know, arrogant and just annoyed. And it just really came across to me to where it's like, you know, you have a lot of people who are just, you know, like they're putting the pressure on them. They're, they're like, Hey, like what's going on? Like, we're upset. We can't, we can't, you know, our stuff is late. We can't place orders. What's going on. And granted, I get, you know, I get it. They don't want to hear that, but that's their job. That's their job is to hear that and to deal with the customers and to be like, listen, that's, that's our bad. We messed up this and that. And I just, it just didn't come across that way. It seemed like that they were more annoyed with the customer base than they were really apologetic for just the situation that they had, you know, that they have created. Um, and there was a person who had posted a comment on there to where they were they were saying, "Hey, I got six cabinets, and you know, I love you, John, but after this whole thing about the what was it February 11th, the big news." And then all we got was this, you know, 30 cabinets, um, 30 countercade cabinets sold. You know, I was pretty disappointed or whatnot. And John just tried to like act like, well, that was the biggest news day for us. 
and you just all this stuff that kind of went on behind the scenes or if you read the fine print and and all this stuff and it's like dude it's like i just thought you know that would be me it's like i'm someone who's got that many that many cabinets and and i really speak up for the company and feel like that i appreciate you know what they do and kind of defend them sometimes and then and then he just is like trying to act like that they had a big release and granted do i think that there's big things going on behind the scenes yes do i think that there's going to be uh, a standard addition to that Street Fighter 2 counter arcade two player. Yes, I do. I think, you know, obviously production wise, they're not going to manufacture 30 of something. So there's going to be a standard version. I, I get that. But he's not understanding that, like, what is the, the normal consumer? He put out there that there was a lot going on. Hey, there was a big announcement come. And maybe if you go and you read all these forums and blog posts or, or whatever, and, you know, but a lot of people don't have time to watch you know all these different live streams and all these different interviews that they do you go to the website there was one thing that was sold out by the time everyone got there so regardless of if you had more information a lot of stuff is going on that people aren't seeing the optics are one thing got posted there was 30 of them and it sold out real quick so when you hype something up and that's all that really like that most people see like i said i'm, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that there is more going on if you, like I said, if you read forums, you read between the lines and you're more plugged in, you can find out more stuff. I get that. But when you hype something up and then you really don't deliver on like a grander scale and then you try to act like, oh, that was our biggest, more stuff came out that day than any other day. It's just, that just rubbed me the wrong way. So that's, that's where I'm at. I, just, <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to make this like a, a negative video. It was more of like just if you were if you were in the same situation that I was at, to where you were kind of all in on on the pinballs and stuff. And I know a lot of y'all have been, a lot of y'all are kind of like what have opened my eyes as well. To where like a lot of y'all have just been like, hey, you gotta, we gotta, we gotta pay, we gotta, you know, you gotta open your wallet and you gotta speak with your wallet. And a lot of people I know have dropped their pre-orders, have gone the at games route. Um, and like I said, their cabinets don't don't speak to me. It's not I'm not interested in them. But the more I look at their pinball, it's like that's probably it's a really good option. And yes, it's it's a little bit more expensive because it's 600 plus 100 dollars shipping. But I think we've seen from Arcade One Up that those pinballs are not going to be 550. They're all, they are going to be 600 more than likely going forward. And they have they really have less to off to offer to be honest with you. So. It's a, it's it's a little bit more expensive for those those legends pinballs, but like I said, I think that I think that they just I think they have more to offer, and I, I want to find out. So it's just it's one of those things to where if you don't if you don't try, you're never gonna know. You, I can't sit here and just act like Arcade One Up is the superior product when I don't have any at games products to compare them to, you know. So I mean, I like the nostalgia. I like a lot of things about Arcade One Up. I like where they're going, but I think that they have gotten so big in the market. To where they've lost a little bit of you know perspective of what they need to be doing they're they're trying to grow they're trying to um expand their place in the marketplace than they are they're doing good at that but at the same time they can't lose sight of of you know their main customers and just making sure that they're happy and they're getting what they need and just making sure that they're they don't have hundreds of notify me buttons on their on their site so I, I get that that they're they're looking out for their best interest but as consumers we have to look out for our best interest and sometimes you know you need to you need to put that company in check if that company you think is kind of put starting to starting to lose sight of you as a consumer then you have to kind of put that have to put them in check and like like people say you got to speak with your wallet um like i said i'm not it's not me sitting here trying to say that I'm off of Arcade One Up. It's just it's just me opening my eyes and being open to what is out there, and that there are other options. And I'm you know I'm finally going to check them out. So I will be talking about some you know at game stuff coming you know going forward. So I will try to expand the channel into that as well, um, more or less the pinball area. So it it will be what I think mid May is when they may ship out. So it's going to be June July price mid summer or summertime until I end up getting that table, if I even get it. So we'll see if, I, if they even hold my my, uh, my spot. But that's me on my soapbox for today. Hope you all had a good weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later.